Yes, sir. We Like Dota is brought to you by the generous support of our patrons. To find out how to sponsor the show, visit welikedota.com and follow the links to the Patreon. We Like Dota, episode 116, starts now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to We Like Dota, the Internet's casual Dota 2 podcast. I'm Brian Sabone Yinger, and joining me this evening is Jared Clyde Frog Person. Hello, Jared. The beauty of the Internet, Brian. Uh, Jared, also joining us is the triumphant return of, uh, what's your official title, Cheeks, these days? Senior Executive Producer. Senior Executive Producer, Cheeks of Flapping. Hello, Cheeks. Hello. It's uh, good to be back. <laughs> nice to have you back here on the program. Good to have returned. Yeah, it's great to have you back, brother. Uh, so we well, got to know what they say. Oh, yep, go ahead. Yep, absence makes the heart grow fonder. That's true. That's my, what my wife said when we lived far apart, when we were unmarried, <laughs> when we were unwed, and I was just like, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Anywho, guys, we my got heart a lot is to too talk fond about. already. We're gonna we're gonna move right into Dota feelings here. We're gonna yeah yeah. Gonna Volvo Gal- Volvo gifted us a podcast tonight. That's right. We're gonna see if we're six K MMR podcasters, or well. We had nothing to talk about otherwise. Nine K, nine K, right? Well, we had a good show planned, but we got we got a lot to talk about. So. Absolutely, let's. But it just got better. Let's get just... it. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh, look at it go! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. Uh-huh. So, welcome to Dota Feelings, where we talk about how our week in Dota went, and how it made us feel. More importantly, how it made us feel. And, uh, Jared, our week, your week in Dota consisted of, uh... An attempted land. Yes. (laughs) Which, we got one game off. We got one game. Uh, but even more so... daughter had chicken pox. Your cycle of addiction with Dota 2 hat betting has (sighs) only grown more impressive. It's not impressive. It's more the bubble's gonna burst sometime soon. It is, yeah. And I've but I I am on one of the best streaks of any sort of betting, like sports betting, anything aside. Oh, this is this everything. This is everything. This is one of the best streaks I've ever been on. I mean, when when the bubble bursts, I have a bottle of bourbon downstairs. Okay, ready for yeah, ready for you. Yeah, absolutely. Cheeks, you were gonna interject. Yeah, it's streaking. It's a hot streak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No. Um. I I I made a couple. I I have uh the Alchemist Radiance swords that I I purchased a long time ago because I love the hero. It all started with these. Right? Yes. Okay. And uh, I got I got gutsy enough to bet these, and and they're worth a you know a little bit of money now. They're like what thirty dollars. Thirty. They're okay. going on thirty dollars for the market right now. Um. And uh, I won a little something, and I kept winning, and I kept winning, and, and <laughs> I've lost some along the way as well, but I've got up to a ridiculous amount right now. I mean, I'm sitting on, I've, I've gone, I've parlayed this one set of alchemist swords that are worth about $30 into about $250 worth of hats, like several arcana. Ooh. Yeah, it's... How many arcanas have you won? In like total? The last week. Yeah, total. Uh, seven. One and lost. You've won seven Arcanas? Lost four. Currently have three. Oh my goodness. What have you... What all, Let's talk about the highlights here. Like, what yeah. are some of the matches that you've won? One of, some of the big matches and some of the big... The very turnouts. biggest that we that I won, I put a lot down on uh, Liquid to beat Newbie in the epicenter, epicenter final. Because they were technically yeah. an underdog. It was like 47% or something yeah. like that. But... I ended up winning uh, a genuine battle fury for uh, Faceless Void. Yeah, that's an old item too, and it's valued at like forty eight dollars, I think, or something like that. Oh yeah, and uh, wow. another Arcana. Okay, and then uh, there was another one. Oh, we what I just win today? It was the Rebel, our uh, Rebels, or whatever. Uh, that Ember Spirit. Yeah, the hat. Ember Spirit, an Ember Spirit hat that's worth forty five dollars, Brian. 
And it's not anything it's stupid out of the looking. norm. It's stupid looking. Yeah. So I'm betting that shit like immediately. Because, I mean, I'm going to get a good return on it, and I don't care if I lose it. It's great. It's perfect. Really, that's the perfect item for me. Sorry, my cocktail went down the wrong pipe there. <laughs> but yeah, my, my week my week in Dota has been great because uh, I've, I've made some hats, and uh, I'm sitting on like a small fortune of hats. You've got a small gold mine. You're, you're up like 210 value in hats right now, right? Exactly. I have I tons of space money. A lot of space money. A lot of space money that will All never... Yeah ever really yeah amount to anything besides a compendium yes i'll be able to be able to uh, fiend my compendium and you should be able to buy like some levels and s- some nice levels and stuff with that too yeah maybe i'll sell that ember spirit hat for yeah. that yeah why not maybe uh but yeah, I, that's that's been my week i will say i know on i think it's on loopmarket.com okay you can sell crap and get real cash yeah with a couple of caveats Ooh. here I all right. Well, I bought a Legion Commander Arcana for you for your birthday. Thank you for that, by the way. <gasps> you're welcome. And oh, uh, I did not bet this, by the way. I did not bet that because yeah. I haven't received it yet. Right, and I went to <laughs> and I won't. I I won't bet that because I, that's yeah. Which is fine. I went to LootMarket.com to try and get something a little cheaper. Sure. Um, but you have to fund an account there with at least fifty dollars. What? Which is dumb. Uh, and it's backed by G2A. It has some oh. sort of affiliation with G2A. I G2A think. just always feels shady to me. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, it's because they do like gray market stuff and it's, mm, it's, 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 it's potentially a little nefarious. Okay. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so I know if you sell it's stuff It's also there, a marketplace. If you sell stuff, I think it's for, I think if you get like a hundred bucks, you can cash out. I think you have to have at least a hundred bucks. All right. Well, it's not bad. Yeah, I definitely could get there. If it works, you might be able to get actual actual money. U.S. gold coin. Oh yeah, yeah. Currency. Mm-hmm. So, uh, cheeks. What about you? How how did your weekend Dota two go? Uh, it's been good. It's short. I've only got two games in this week. I've been doing a lot more Destiny than I have been Dota. Fair for enough. Some reason I I don't know why there was the April update, and then I was like, oh, everything looks like it's from Tron. Let's <laughs> get all that space stuff. wizards. So man. I tried to get all this stuff. And a friend of mine sort of led me down a rabbit hole of all that stuff. So that was a fun time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, my two games back, it was uh, Lich and Tree and won both of them. So that's great. That's great, brother. Nice. That was a, that was a real fresh scene, you know. So it was it, it was refreshing to have won. Congratulations. Uh, but yeah, I, it's been interesting kind of seeing this new, the new patch. These are my first games of the new patch. I'm just seeing all the little differences, and it's it's, it's still Dota, though, right. at heart. Yeah. Right, exactly. We were talking about that last week. Like, the game is still the same. Yeah, it's just it's getting more complicated. Game. Yeah. Which, yeah. That's what Dota does. I, I mean, really. A, yeah. I want to give a, a shout out to mm-hmm. front of the show Parkview 11. Yeah. Or uh, playing in a stack with us on Brian's stream night. Do you have any specific name for that? Um, it was just a, a failed for... attempted land Simone night. The stream. <laughs> That's right. It was patron and listener uh, matchmaking night. It was fun. Okay, beautiful. That's a catchy name. Yes. <laughs> anyway, he he did very well on, on his lich. Uh, just the sometimes gruff tones of coach Giddy. <laughs> so, sometimes gruff tones of all nice of us job. well no no i just did image in particular i like after every time like the image would ask something brian would be like but you're doing great <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah because i I, like uh, was- I langed with him and to be like i don't think he's played dota 2 in like a year and a half which I, is yeah. impressive yeah. to come back to the game after that yeah, still more matches played than Ben. Uh, <laughs> yes. But I don't... I was looking at his match history today, and I'm not sure if there's, like, some weird stuff going on with, like, you know, the only shows, like, the last 20 days or something, but it's it's possible that Park V11 has not played since the Reborn update. Wow. Wow. Which is impressive so that he whole... uh, he had some great, like, chain frost and stuff. and Oh, yeah. That's awesome. He did okay. I'm sad I, got to, I didn't totally. get to, you know, to play with y'all. 
That's okay. Your your yeah. daughter was very ill. Yeah, virus ridden. Yeah, so it's you know it's Ugh. okay. Yeah, it's not fun. We we take care of our families and then play games when we have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I don't know. Dota felt good. I'll probably play a game after the podcast here. Oh, so okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. The compendium came out, so that's exciting. Oh, I need to go spin the wheel some more. A lot going on there. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Lots Gotta on. spend money. <sighs> God. Right course uh me i well okay yeah, so yeah brian tell me about your feelings so we had the uh we had the stream spectacular do you like that a little bit better cheeks strange spectacular yeah, that works. stream strange stream spectacular. okay oh so, streams I, I, strange spectacular work too. so i've played I'm five matches strange. in the last week okay uh, okay I, pl- I lost on viper obviously lost on venomancer surprising and then when we did our uh our stack night i I played Venom support Venomancer one game, mm-hmm. um, and I just got wrecked because we fell pretty far behind pretty early. Yeah, that that was a uh, me and you support. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah that's that was right. awful. That was, was rough. rough. Just yeah, we were like just food for the other team. We were feeding like crazy. Yeah, which isn't which. I don't look, remember who look, I we were game, feeding. But... We were feeding. Like, let's get that out there. But at the same time, were you guys trying to do your aggressive roaming support duo thing? No, not, not really. really. Kind of. So game. <laughs> so so this game. Um, so I was playing Venomancer. What were you on, Jared? I don't even remember. Okay, I'm looking it up. Okay. So I was playing Venomancer, and I just remember getting caught out by Invoker so many times because he had a. <laughs> this Invoker got did he did really well in lane because Diddy Mitch was our uh, mid laner and he was playing Slark. I was playing on dying. That's who I was. Mm, yeah, that's right. And uh, somehow that bastard got really far ahead. Invoker did. Yeah. Well, he got he bought a minus, and I think just once the laning phase started to break down, like about eight minutes in, he was able to gank us a lot. He was able to start ganking, and it was just ugly because uh, we got up to a pretty early lead. Actually, it was like six six two or something like that, and then all of a sudden things just hit the fan, and it was awful. Yeah, we didn't have a ton of disable because we had uh, yeah. Diddy Mitch on Slark. We had Bunny on Medusa. Oh, we had that rando Dragon Knight. Yeah, you were on Undying. I was on Venomancer. And then we had Dragon Knight, which... If we had a competent Dragon Knight player, I think we'd have been okay. Wait, hold on. I think we have a Dragon Knight curse, because (laughs) Ben played Dragon Knight that one night he kept texting his girlfriend. Well, prior to being a girlfriend, let's put that out there. Let's get that out there. Yeah. He was chasing the booty. Yeah. And I've been I've been in many a uh, non-productive Dragon Knight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Dragon Knight and Randos were like, yeah, this is this is Dota. This is what happens. can corroborate. Yeah. But, but this guy was having yeah. mouse issues and he would. <laughs> so I was sitting here just farming up while he's like, like AFK uh, and Lane. Sorry. Sorry, bro. I need to fix my mouse. And I'm like, do you need a pause? And he's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I just got to go get batteries. I'll be all right. No, he's not. He's not good. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're not. <laughs> but anyway, we lost that one. Um, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. But thankfully, it went fast. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Diddy mentioned Bunny. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to formally apologize to everyone who had to had to participate. Um, or and then, watch. And then match two, we had Diddy Mitch as coach. Okay. We had, uh, I played Anti-Mage, which Ooh. this is the first time I played Anti-Mage in an actual match. Okay. Uh, and then we had Cheeks. Quite a while. Uh, Cheeks, Cheeks, we had tree, you right? on Tree. Yes. Is that right? Yes, let I was pull, on Tree. I was trying to get the eggs, but he was unhappy with my farming, so I got pulled back in the team fight. I believe the words <laughs> that he said is like, he said something about like, basically you're useless in the jungle or something like that. Yes. And I was like, well, screw you too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Yeah, you I did fine. Love you, too. you had 13 assists. That's pretty good. Yeah, I know. It's, it, you know. Uh, so we had you. It is what it is. We, we had uh, Parkview 11, as as mentioned before, on mm-hmm. Lich. On uh, Lich. So yeah. he linked with me. We had a fun lane. Yeah. Uh, and then we had Elihu on Nyx Assassin. Oh, okay. And uh, Primark SF 13 on Phantom Lancer sure. mid. Okay. Yeah. PL mid's legit, man. Uh, I believe he wrecked Invoker mid. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, because you just spam out the fan, the, the yeah, lance the doppel, yeah. in the doppel. Yeah, and then you and you just run at people, them, right? yeah. yeah. 
vocal low armor. I mean, it's awful. So I feel I feel really bad for I'd like to formally apologize to Elihu because I think he had the suckiest match he's ever had because we had <laughs> we had support Treant and support Lich and neither of uh, neither of you guys were buying wards. I remember Elihu saying I, mean, I started that, buying wards after someone started complaining enough about it, <laughs> which is good. Yeah, which is good. If you don't want me to get eggs, then fine. <laughs> but I believe he said at one point he's like, "All right, I'm buying wards. Nobody else is doing it." And I, I feel bad for the oh, guy. Poor guy. And I think he had one of those matches where, like, you just feel ineffective. Yeah. Uh, no, I know that all too well. Yeah. Well, it kind of worked out well because you guys fought as four, and then I would just on the AM once I had Battle Fury. You just AFK farm for twenty yeah. minutes. I just farmed like crazy. I had five hundred seventy three last hits. That's a lot of last hits. Uh, I had seven fifty seven GPM, which is the highest GPM I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Okay. Pretty hot. Pretty high GPM. Yeah, it's not. I went. Tw- I went there. twelve, two, and twelve. <laughs> so I think I'm starting to. De- and to be fair, I had Diddy Mitch like on my shoulder telling me what to do. Right, right. Um, but you know, I'm still the one pressing the keys. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's your reactions that matter. Yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, but I had a ton of fun on that guy. Don't know if anybody else had fun. Hey, that's fine. It was fun for me. And, and I'm going to supply you with uh, some anti-mage hats moving forward. Yes, so yeah. Your hat pipeline is really working out. And then, uh, sorry, I'm just calling out these matches since we had a stream spectacular. You oh, know, it's we fun. had listeners in here. I yeah, wanna, absolutely. I want to get everyone absolutely. in here. Uh, and then, we had a strange spectacular. That's right. Yeah, the strange spectacular. <laughs> uh, and then we had a match uh, where I played uh, Ancient Apparition. Oh, I love AA, man. Uh, which was fun. The stats, I feel like... Ah, Fred, Dota buff. Your sight on mobile sucks. It's rough. Ugh, come on. Putting Dota buff there we on go. blast. Dota buff on blast, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I was Ancient Apparition. We had three Groove. More on him later on Darkseer. Uh, Stingray Shuffle. Stingray Shuffle was on okay. Crystal Maiden. Okay. We had Sea Donkey on Viper. And uh, uh, Jim J. Bollock okay. on uh, Drow Ranger. Sounds like a fun stack. We were against a Life Stealer, a Witch Doctor, a Faceless Void, a Medusa, and a Wraith King. Oh, that sounds awful. Tons of lockdown. We had, like, virtually none. Yeah. I mean, we had the Darkseer, and... Darkseer doesn't have good lockdown. Crystal Maiden had has kind of frostbite. It's the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I used to be a big believer in the, uh, the frostbite being a viable option for a... Uh, CC, but well, you just recently discovered that it's like only half a yeah. It's it's like a quarter disable. disable. Yeah, um, it Ugh. keeps you from right clicking. Yeah, son yeah. of a bitch. Um, okay, so I went AA. Uh, had fun on him. Yeah. Uh, three groove on the dark seer. Uh, great initiations. We had sure. stingray shuffle with some really great ultimates. Tons of damage from sea donkey and drow ranger. The whole time we're like, okay, we're on a timer. Oh yeah, you, you we yeah. need to go. You can't go late against a dollar up yeah. like that. So we did run up against the timer. That stinks. We kind of, we kind of hit the timer. Yeah. Um, About 40 minutes, probably. We played well, though. We had some really, really good team fights. Oh, that's so frustrating. And, you know, we were able to like kind of bait out the Faceless Void. He could yeah. waste the Chrono. I'd throw the, the Ice Blast into the Chrono. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, it was totally. so much fun. Yeah. So I had a good time, but we lost. Yeah. Uh, One of those that you don't feel as bad about the loss, though. Yeah, but okay, good. The, the damage from Drow... Less bad about it. Drow Ranger went uh, Blink Dagger, Mask of Madness, Ag Scepter, Mjolnir... Interesting. And uh, the Super Force Staff thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Windpike or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. T- tons of AoE damage. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, definitely different. Not not the stats drove dro- that you're looking at normally, but... Tons of... That's okay. She had tons of damage. It worked out. Yeah, totally. Now, three groove. <laughs> Three Groove lives uh, about 15 minutes from us. Really? And is given a ton of computer hardware to a friend of the show and co-host, uh, Josh Dreams Roberts. Yeah, he's actually getting to, to build a real computer. Like, yes. handing it off. He's going to have a legitimate computer that's nicer than mine. Well, and it, which is okay. great. Yeah, I'm happy great. for the guy. Great, I was yeah. helping him pick out stuff today. Exciting times we're here. we're in here, folks. Yeah. So tip of the hat and round of the applause to a three groove. Yeah, seriously. Now, it it has come to my attention. Yeah. We we 
now. We listen. hung out and talked a little bit after the match. Sure. It has come to my attention that Three Groove frequently visits my coffee shop. Oh, really? Yes. And uh, That's really funny. Went into detail on uh, some morning I was pissed off at somebody. Sure. That I work with. Yeah. Which I hope he was over-exaggerating a little bit because I try to be nice to everybody. I try to be the nice guy. Well, yeah, but every once in a while, especially in a work environment, probably, probably I understand. frustrated. I yeah. think oh, probably for frustrated sure. for sure. is a better, better word, maybe. Yeah. So he knows me and <coughs> sees me work <laughs> constantly. Funny. That's funny. Did, was he? he, did, he a, did he identify that it was you? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, because I, like, I, I was like, dude, why didn't you say anything? He's seriously. Like, he's like, well, I figure you don't want to talk about like Dota at like six in the morning when you're like slinging lattes at people. And you're like, like, wrong? It's like, yeah, that's wrong, dude. Like, <laughs> completely wrong. Like, we can at least say hi. Like, I'm not going to talk about draft strategies or anything, but, yeah, you know, when I'm making your triple tall latte, you know, we can, totally, yeah. we can hang out a little bit. Yeah. So, or at least say hey. So anyway, Three Groove, hi. he's a cool guy. Cool, man. And uh, I think I'm going to go with Josh to help him yeah. build the computer. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Uh, Cheeks. Yeah. Uh, what do we got going on for Noobs Ass Noobs this week? Or... What? Well, we're we're, we're back to it. People, people write in questions. Okay. And then we answer them. It's typically how that kind of pans out. Yes. Okay. Cool. And we probably have stuff to give away. Um, and if not, I can supply hats. Yeah. For the next four years. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, there will be something to give away that's chosen in some sort of fashion. Perfect. Fantastic. Uh, do you have anything else to say before we shoo you away for the rest of the show? Uh, no. Okay. All right. We'll see you at the Not bottom at of the top. show. Great. All right. See you at the bottom. <laughs> cheeks at the bottom. All right, Cheeks. I'm looking forward to your bottom. <laughs> to read the future, I need entries. Uh, good luck with Hearthstone, by the way. I don't think that came out right. It's okay. All right, folks. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get into it. We're already like sixty-five minutes into the show, Brian. Uh, Twenty-two minutes. Okay, so uh, Epicenter happened this past weekend. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. One of the best Pretty Dota impressive. two tournaments we've had this year. Uh, yeah, definitely way better than the Shanghai Major. <laughs> like you can't even compare the two. It was so much better. Uh, yeah, our um, strange stream was better than Shanghai Major. Yes, so. correct. Anything. So, uh, so they had good talent at Epicenter, you know. Yeah, had, yeah, yeah. The on air was great. They had the you know typical cast of people. Mm-hmm. They had Red Eye, mm-hmm. Shiver, mm-hmm. Blitz, Capitalist. Uh, who else is there? Toby, Odie, Toby, yeah, Odie Pixel, yeah, the, the norm, the norm. Uh, but the uh, the you know everything went real well. Everything was on time. Yeah, there wasn't a ton of pauses. Mm-hmm. The lane event, the stage was freaking insane. Yeah. They made like a Roshan prop as like a centerpiece of the stage. And then it was all like image mapped or whatever, right? Projection map. Yeah, yeah. projection map. Where you can like I don't know how this works. Yeah, I mean there's either. some sort of voodoo magic. But you can like technology pro- project man. onto stuff, but yeah. you can project onto stuff that's not square. Yeah, basically you, you can define the size and the, like the shape of what you're projecting onto. Yeah, yeah. So basically you texture it with light. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So, the, the, and they had that, and all sorts of screens and stuff. The people in the audience had like these wristbands that you would get, like yeah. at a Coldplay concert, <laughs> right? Yeah, that like That's light exactly up it. with That's like exactly what's it. going on in the game and stuff. Yeah, and, uh, the, I heard some of the uh, like a talent that was out there talking about it too. Like, they had like a uh, you know how the sun goes over and then turns into a night, like the in the clock uh, on on the actual HUD. Well. I guess it, that kind of projection went onto the ceiling of the uh, of the event. Really? Yeah. What? So, like, it would be, you know, you'd have the sun and then the moon. And then, like, during Night Sucker's Ultimate, there'd be, like, bats. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. But so, like, yeah, all the matches were great. Um, I mean, the production was great, minus some sound issues with... You know, like what? the audio interfaces they were using, they tried some different ones and those didn't work. And I was like, I'll take it. One. Yeah, I'll take it. I mean, you know what? It seemed like they had them ironed out for like the finals and stuff, though. Exactly. Yeah. So switching Somewhere. out headsets and all that jazz. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, stuff like that's going to happen. 
Yeah. If you've ever done any sort of sound like production, you realize that no matter how many times you do something oh, yeah. or how many times you set something up, there's always something that happens. Part of what I do for an income is setting up sound every right. other week. Yeah. And if you're plugging stuff in every other week, there are literally hundreds of fail points. Absolutely. And something's going to go wrong. And it's going to happen. For the most part, they had everything ironed out. They had, you know, big steps here. They had actual nice microphones and yeah. microphones at proper levels. It was good. Yeah. That's no, a honestly. big deal. Yeah. 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 So good. And good you, job. You know what? The actual like in game or after game, post game, whatever you want to call it, like the, uh, the imaging for the actual viewing experience. It was nice. Was well done. Yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't like super it, aggressive or whatever. It was. It was just simple. It was yeah. to the point. Simple it was but good. well done. Yeah. Exactly. Which is yeah. Very difficult to do in my opinion. That's true. Yeah. Fair enough. So anyway, Epicenter. Um, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. It's you know everyone's like oh they're making a, a bid for you know to be the next major or something like that. And maybe. Maybe it seems like. They did an okay job. Seems like they did a great job. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe we'll have a Moscow major. Who knows? I'd be okay with it with if that production company was doing it. Oh yeah, I, I can. I can. Um, we'll always have something in China. I think though, regardless. It's like half the players. Yeah. Just need to find somebody else to do it. It's true. Yeah, perfect world. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the actual Dota that happened at the event was also fantastic. Uh, really good, Brian. We're still on 6.87. Um, sure. I don't care. Or not still. We're yeah. right at the beginning of it. So yeah. we're still kind of seeing some of the dregs of the old patch. A little bit, yeah. But there's definitely more of a shift towards... Like your mids now are like way more utility focused and like kind of tempo controller. Yeah, focused. we're getting back into like the Magnus Puck kind of thing. Quaswex Invoker. Which like, is really fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So, yeah, you're getting into like the, uh, not like, it's not for Protect 1, but it's, it's like, you know, you have your kind of initiator or utility offlaner. Yeah, but here's the thing. I mean, you're seeing like three and four core lineups too, still like. Yeah, right. The, you know, if you, the coin does death ball, death ball push or whatever you want to yeah. call it, that still works. Yeah. Yeah, and a, well, a lot of those heroes tend to get their damage from spells versus right clicks. True, um, which is really interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been it's been fun to watch. It has, it has, it's been really fun. Yeah. Um, so, long story short, Team Liquid won three two versus Newbie, and I made a crap ton of hats. You made a crap ton of hats. Well, actually, I just won two hats on that, but it was seventy five dollars worth of two hats. Oh, that's insane. I know it was nuts. Uh, I I honestly think that series could have gone either way. Okay, when we were talking about me like on this crazy run of yeah. of hat winning, um, we did not really uh, talk about the fact that I pretty much have gotten an ulcer from it. Yeah, and I told you just to drink a lot of water. <laughs> it's it's nerve wracking, man. Well, yeah, even today we were uh, watching uh, what was it, Rebels versus yeah. Uh, uh, not Team Spirit. Uh, Power Rangers. Power Rangers, yeah. yeah those jerk teams. A, fair, a, a pretty, like, it's like a second tier match. Yeah. And you're like... You're, and I have I like could, $120 worth of hats on it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god. I could tell you're not doing well. I was not. Yeah. But uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Epicenter, Team Liquid. Yeah, Team Liquid won. Beat out Newbie. Yep. Which... Newbie had, you know, this crazy winning streak going into the tournament, which OG, OG stopped. Yes. It was like a 32 match. Uh, 29. 29. 29 in a row, yep. yeah. Uh, tons of really great Dota being played. Yeah, man. I tell you what. I tell you what. There was... Uh, the, I think, honestly, the team that I saw there... There were eight teams there. Um, the team, I think, that performed worst was Secret. I don't disagree with that. We were talking at lunch today yeah. about how... It's kind of interesting to see that teams that have been together longer seem right. to be doing better right yeah, now. Like Team Liquid. Yeah. Because EG's not doing well. No. Uh, well, they're, they're not doing terrible, but they're not great. I think Complexity could beat them right now. Oh, yeah. Complexity, well, Complexity beat EG. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Knocked him out 2-0. Uh, but yeah, Complexity, they've been together for a while. Liquid's been together for a while. Well, Complexity did change, actually, at the same time EG did. 
But they really? had three of the same cores. Yeah, because uh, Moon and Fly left. Yeah, but they... Well, that's kind of different, I think, though. Because they kind of reunited the squad that they had a ton of success with in Heroes right. of New Earth. Right, yeah. I am I guess I would kind of count them as an... As a, I guess you're right, yeah. Because Chessie came back. Hanskin's the only one that's a little different. But. Yeah. Yeah, four of the five from... I think they were called Stay Green yeah. and Han. And OG did pretty well. Yeah, uh, totally. Well, the newbie squad is pretty new, right? Somewhat. I mean, Chon, Chuan just got got there after, I think, the I think first with major? The, yeah, I think either that or... I think it was after the Chinese pre- major. Pre-Shanghai, maybe? I think it was pre-Shanghai. Okay. I'm not really sure on the status of their team, to be totally honest. But, but yeah, but Liquid won, and they've been together for over a year. Yeah, overall, we've had this trend of team... Which I'm happy. I hope this is a trend that continues of valuing stability yeah for sure for sure unless something obviously clearly needs to change i hope teams start to consider the value of having a stable roster yeah the non rtz factor (sighs) yeah (laughs) that guy all right jared uh enough of that let's let's move on to the big news of the week yeah brian i think there was a there's an announcement about an hour and a half before our recording right yes uh the (laughs) ti6 uh, Battle Pass and Compendium and Manila Compendium, Compendium. yeah, uh, have have been released. They've been released, and this is the thing that drains my wallet every every, every year. freaking year. Yeah, and and we can spend a little more on the Compendiums this year because we're not actually going. That's true. <laughs> That's a really good point. Yeah, yeah. Which I will say, well, the prize pool is up to one point nine million right now. <laughs> so it's, it's already gained three hundred thousand dollars in two hundred in like two hours. three hours. It's gained like. <laughs> Three hundred thousand dollars. Sounds about right. Um, which just set that base price pool at three million. Val, come on, you know why they, do they need to though? I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, I, they're also funding three other majors from this now. You have to keep that in mind. That's a really good point. And so we haven't seen the Manila major yet, but I real just real quick. I'm real, real quick, happy. Real quick. Yeah. I'm. I've loved the major system. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been. I think it's been so good for the scene. Yeah, there's been some hiccups here and here, here and there, Shanghai. But uh, you but know what? It's been great. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I think I think Manila is going to be really good. Um, if if the ESL thing at Manila was any any uh, lead in, I mean, the people mm-hmm. there are just great. Yeah, yeah, rabid. Okay, so uh, the battle pass. Yeah. Let's the just T- talk about some highlights here. TS6 yeah. battle pass. <laughs> No, we're almost at two million already, Brian. Look at that. So, uh, let's see here. So you can buy it for uh, ten dollars. This is okay, very the standard ten dollars. Yeah. Ten dollars, okay. uh-huh. or you can buy it at level fifty already. <laughs> okay. For twenty seven dollars, which of course I did. Well, yeah, I'll be doing that as soon as I get it. You get so much crap. As soon as I sell a hat, I'll be doing that. Because you can also buy levels for your compendium. Oh, good. Um, so just, I'm in. just like last year, five levels. 250 11 levels five dollars 24 levels is ten dollars so getting an instant bump to level 50 pretty good deal that is a good deal actually you know if you do the math that's a pretty good deal yeah that's a uh, that's decent yeah so yeah hey i'm into it uh okay so on the on the main page for dota 2 for the battle yeah, pass yeah, 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 it battle says pass, you get okay. all this yeah. you receive all this in big letters oh perfect yeah <laughs> i'm in <laughs> So we're getting Immortal Treasure 1, Immortal, Immortal Treasure, Treasure 2, two? Okay, Immortal yeah. Treasure 3. All right. <laughs> we're getting a new terrain pack. Perfect. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Uh, we get taunts, weather effects, music packs, cursor packs, uh, wards that evolve as you play. Ooh. You know, as you like level up your battle pass. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's kind of neat. Emoticon packs, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah. Emoticon packs are sweet. Nothing will ever get better than uh, colon horse colon. Oh, yeah. God. The, the horse is great. Uh, it's the best. It's the best. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Suns fan. Uh, Suns fan. Yes, yeah, thank you. It was. Uh, we get a new HUD, which mm-hmm. prominently features Legion Commander, which is strange to me, but we'll get more on that later. Right. And very separate serendipitously. We'll get to that later. Yes. Uh, loading screens, which I've already got 150 of them. Might as well give me another 20. Sure. What the hell? More effigy blocks, which are great. Sure. Yeah. All right. New Crystal Maiden announcer pack. Okay, that's fun. Which I'm gonna try it out. But Wolves of Ice Rack. I think she's kind of annoying, Jared. Yeah. Yeah. 
A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. But that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay. Wolf's so, device rack. Uh, we have, similar from the Shanghai Battle Pass, we have a, okay. a questing system. Ooh. Which, uh, they kind of changed it around a little bit. There's a new thing where there are like, different difficulties for each quest. Oh, okay. So you have one, two, and three star quests. Okay. So there was that one where you had to get, like, 90 seconds of disable on the support one. Yeah, no kidding. It was, like, the second thing. Yeah. The Come second on. quest, which is fine. Yeah, okay. As long as you pick Bane. <laughs> okay, So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, assuming, yeah. I don't know how it works quite yet, but I'm assuming you'll be able yeah, to Bane choose, or like, right. you know, 20, 40, or 60 seconds of disable in a game. Right, you yeah. Know, that sort of thing. Lion would have a lot of disable. But yeah, no, I know, I know what you're saying. Correct. Um, and like with the rewards that you get from completing the quest, sure. which I wouldn't know anything about because I don't play enough of the game to get to the end. You gotta, you gotta play a lot to get some of these rewards, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to, I want to have something that can reward the people that play the game often. Oh yeah. I agree. I also want something that rewards the people who don't play a ton, who don't play a ton yeah. and have a disposable income. Correct. Which is me. Like you and I. Yeah. <laughs> You more so than me. Well, now with the hats, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I need to liquidate my hats. So anyway, with your rewards, <laughs> you, they change depending on what difficulty you complete oh, at. that's kind of nice. So, you know, they probably get more glowy or, you know, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super glowy. And um, there's also mm-hmm. an unlockable quest path for Legion Commander, which if you oh. complete that... I've got the account. No, if you unlock the quest line, you get a prestige item. I don't know what that is. So, it, it, is it like above an arcana? I have no idea. Is it like those bracers? No, the bracers for Enigma were considered an immortal. Ar- no, they weren't immortal. Oh, you're right. Yeah, they, they were an artifact. Still only worth like five bucks or something. Really? Yeah. You had to get like your compendium to like level six million, didn't I know you? I spent like twenty five dollars. Oh, that sucks. Me. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> we're doing a lot of whispering today. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So there's this new prestige item. Okay. Don't know what that means. All right. You get it. And if you go through the entire quest line, you get special glowy stuff for Perfect. for that thing. Special stuff. Dota loves particle effects. And I love Dota. Yeah. But- uh, the wagering, the one. wagering system is back with the with the tokens. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was fun. I like that a lot. That was fun. I like yeah. the way that they did that. You don't have to buy tokens. You just yeah, get you just get them. Yeah. We're under the Bernie uh, Sanders socialism <laughs> thing here. I guess that'd be more like communist than anything, right? Yeah, yeah. You get your allotment. Yeah, I think it's yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a new high roller bonus. So if you get Ooh, your battle pass to a certain you level, know that's me. You get I know you get <laughs> bonus tokens to bet. Oh, that's awesome. Which okay. is kind of fun. Sure. Uh, sure. There's a new community challenge, which I'm really excited about. Oh. Uh, the first one I saw is like, we have to destroy, as an entire Dota 2 community, so okay. across like the 12.8 million unique players I we saw. Ha- do we have to destroy Peru? We, we have to destroy <laughs> Peru. We have to DDoS their servers. <laughs> uh, no, yep. I think we have to destroy like, I think it's like 40 billion trees. Or something like that. All right. Well, so, Timberso is getting back in the meta, so we'll be yeah. all right. Buy your four stabs, folks. <laughs> um, so once you do that, if everyone who completes that yeah. and takes part in that gets some stuff for Lena's... Uh, frick, what is this Lena? called? Lena's Battle Blaze. What? <laughs> uh, and you get... I think it's basically Plinko. It's like Rylai's <laughs> Winter Blessing. See, they're going full prices right here. <laughs> They've so given up. They've so given up. No, no, no. They haven't. No, they're only tapping the beginning of their potential. I love this. It's like, well, we watched the prices right today. Yeah. We'll, so Crystal Maiden, play Pinko. Crystal Maiden has the giant wheel. Right. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Lena has Plinko. Okay. So as we complete goals, we sure. get Plinko tokens. Okay. To get more crap. Well, Plinko's great, so I'm in. Oh, it's the best. Also, dude. crap. I'm in. I'm in. I'm so in. <laughs> awesome okay so okay. we got that um there's a new okay so there's now more we get rewarded for giving valve more money <laughs> oh, God. so there's a high watermark for the prize pool uh, each year dota 2 fans the world over join together to raise the largest prize pool in all of esports every year this time yeah. if the pool surpasses last year's total of 18.4 million dollars which it will by like three weeks from now probably it will i'm sure yeah, it easily will. 
Uh, every Battle Pass owner will be granted three Trust of the Benefactor treasure rewards. Uh, each of these new treasures will offer a chance to receive a 2016 Immortal Treasure, a random hero set, or an Arcana set, or an ultra rare chance at one of the following limited run prizes. So there's all this stuff. Uh, they're giving away 200 Dragon Claw hooks from Pudge. Oh, wow. Which is like that $300 Pudge hook. Right, so that's going to water down the price of them, but that's okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, you're only putting 200 of them out there, though. Yeah, still, I mean, that's going to... Yeah, but they're they're yeah, giving away so. 50 gold doomlings. Oh, that's kind of neat. You know, all sorts of stuff. Our, our friend of the show, Ben Day, has one of those. He does. He has a golden doomling. We got to convince him to sell that. He plays Dota once a quarter. It makes zero sense for him to have it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. He can do whatever he wants with it. Uh, okay. So there's a new thing where you can... Uh-huh, uh-huh, so throughout uh-huh, this uh-huh, international uh-huh. season, until after the international... I'm primed, but let's go. You can calibrate an entirely separate MMR. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I don't know if it's solo or party. I would assume there's one for each. But you can basically recalibrate your MMR. For this, this is going to be thing. great for Josh. Oh, yeah. He was very excited. So as a battle pass owner, you'll be able to join matches with other dedicated players striving to reach their highest potential. Sure. Battle hard and track your MMR progress oh, via yeah. the new friend and global leaderboards to see how high you can go. So basically... Um, Wait, if, is it resetting MMR? Well, hold on. Join the international ranked queue. So it's an entirely separate queue oh. from ranked and unranked. Interesting. So you calibrate. Play 40 plus games in the international Jesus. ranked queue. That's not happening. Well, remember, we have until the end of August, probably. Probably till the middle of August. Yeah, that's not happening, Brian. It'll happen. That's like you, three months. It'll 40 ha- games? It'll happen for you. Trust me. I don't know. Play 40 games, and you'll also have the option to replace your normal ranked MMR with your new hard-fought season MMR once the International 2016 is complete. That's a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so- Miracle can get his 12K MMR. Right. So I to me this is really cool, but that's kind of neat. I got to think they're beta testing a new feature here, right? Yeah, you got to. Yeah, I can't imagine this is something that they'll just do once and wait until next year to happen again. Well, I maybe got, they will. I got to think this is something that maybe you can, you know, maybe a token you can buy, or you know, to read, or maybe they'll do seasonal MMR. You know, that's kind of yeah. like what StarCraft used to do. The seasonal. Yeah, we're like every. I think it was like every quarter. You yeah. have to recalibrate, and it would take into account your previous MMR as sure. well. Yeah, makes kind of fun. sense. It's yeah. kind of fun, but at the same time, it's a pain in the butt to have to do that all the time. Right? Yeah. I mean, but there's advantages to it for sure because. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a new. This is actually I'm really excited about. This makes me think this is a kind of a beta test for a future as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, the weekend okay. battle cup. Weekend battle cup. So tell me about this, Brian. I'm so excited. Uh, let's see here. As we kick off the international season, the mm-hmm. best professional mm-hmm. players in the world prepare to carve their legacies into summer tournament brackets. Okay. Soon, the same challenges and thrills of competitive Dota will be available to everyone with the launch of the Weekend Battle Cup. Uh, That's kind of fun. During scheduled weekly events, participants can party up and battle through 18 single elimination brackets. Party up! Teams are placed in a skill tier against evenly matched opponents competing in one of four geographic divisions. Oh, cool. Okay. We so it's kind this. of what's that? We got to do this. Oh yeah, for sure. So it's basically like a, like tournament brackets for us. You yeah, know, it's yeah. like self-hosted tournaments in the game. That's great. Which is a feature I would love to have as yeah, totally. You know, as a participant in one of the, we have to be one of the largest Dota two communities, right? I don't know, but but either way, either way, I mean like. The, the We Like Dota League was basically born for this reason. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so the fact that we can possibly have it happen and not have our administrators and mods like have to do that, yeah, I'd be very excited for them. Oh, yeah. Because they work hard on it. Oh, big time. Yeah. Uh, so you get... Uh, they're going to do a new Arcana. You get Arcana votes as a battle pass. Owner. All right, perfect. It's going to be the more you Viper, probably. Up, you get more votes colin viper I would, I would actually really like that that'd be fun the dude needs some love yeah well it's, exact, I, it's exactly some, what happened with zeus last year yeah the dude needs an item just give him one item 
Uh, let's see here. So there's all sorts of rewards with, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, as you level up, you get more immortal treasures. Sure, yeah. Which, that Phoenix Immortal has your name all over it, Jared. Yeah, I've got to find it. Yeah. So I've already got like four immortal treasures, which are really cool. <laughs> Uh, there's the Immortal Gardens terrain, which it does not expire. Okay. Thankfully, the one from Shanghai did the winter terrain. Oh, it expired. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you whoops. only had it for a season. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which I really like that one. I like winter, as you know. I love winter. Yeah. That's weird, but okay. Yeah. So once you hit level t- one twenty five, you get kind of like this, like Greek or like Roman, uh, ancient Roman inspired yeah. terrain. Yeah. Okay. There, it looks very cool. See, you can see some screenshots here. Oh, perfect! Yeah, because this is great radio, but that does look cool. Great radio, I know it looks real cool. That's really cool. Uh, again, they got Legion Commander running around. Listen, I Volvo lo- has a hard on for Legion Commander right now. I love Elsie, and also, again, it's ridiculous that we chose her for the hero of the week. Yeah, right. Before all this, happened. we didn't know. I we didn't swear. know. Yeah, we I, didn't know. I, I, we didn't know. We didn't know. Uh, there's a courier, evolving courier. Yeah, as you level up, of your course. Thing. Yeah, great. Uh, Legion Commander, the prestige item, great. You gotta sure. do stuff that we'll never get to do. Yep. Uh, once you hit level 89 with your battle pass... 8-9, got it. Which is uh, only 39 levels after buying level 50. <laughs> I'll get there, no yeah. problem. Yeah, no uh, problem. You get river vials. Oh, no. So you can change, like, the color and the texture of the water in the river. That's ridiculous. No, it's awesome. You can make it slime. Slime. Uh, <laughs> oil. Okay, yeah. There's one that's dry, so it's nothing. It's just a dry riverbed. Oh, that's kind of neat. You can get Put one that, that with has the desert like terrain. electricity water. Okay, yeah. Zeus, got it. Once you hit seven, or once you hit level twelve fifty, you get the potion vial. Twelve. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, you can get at uh, twenty five hundred. You can turn it into blood. Wait, wait, wait. Level two five zero zero. zero. Correct. Twenty five hundred. Someone will get there. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Oh all you know, all sorts of special effects for blink dagger, teleport, of course, yeah, healing, the normal stuff. Yules bottle, four staff. Oh, Yules, cool, four mech, staff. That's kind of neat. Mech, uh, maelstrom, radiance. Oh, that, now that's that's cool. Phase boots. You have to get your battle pass to level six seventy five for radiance, but still, you know, that's exciting. New taunts, of course. Um, yeah. You got Crystal Maiden's B- Wheel of Blessing. Uh, if you hit level 1,000, you get your own personal Aegis that Volvo will ship to you. Wait, what level was that? 1,000. Okay. I believe that's like $400 if you want to buy it, I think. That's not bad. Which best served cold. <laughs> uh, he and I were chatting before the show. He's got the one from last year, and he yeah. said... Uh, Is it worth it? Well, he said he's scared for the future of his house, because... <laughs> You know, he's worried about making house payments because, you know, if you want to go for the second ages, he's like, I just want to have both of them on my mantle. Look, yeah, no, I, I can't blame you. I get it. Look, I'm having a kid. I'm wor- I'm worried about the kid. Yeah, no, I understand. I'm worried. I might have to finance my hats for that, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if, if things keep going like they are, man, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Look, we're going to use some of those uh, fancy Patreon funds to build a new studio in your basement. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, so. Yeah, that is forthcoming. Hopefully in the next couple months. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a good time. And then uh, we'll be back video as well at that point. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Hash Brown, it's happening. Yes. All right, so that's the that's the battle pass. Uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about it more as the weeks come. Oh, but for sure. That's the long and the short of it. We're very excited. I, for the most part, it seems like they're combining some of the stuff from Shanghai and yeah. then a lot of the stuff from last year. Yeah. And last year I was just like, oh man, like they're going to have to one up themselves again. And, and they did. Well, and I feel like they did it in a way where it's not like, you know, where you have all this feature creep and stuff. You know, we have new stuff. But oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's not like more than last year, I don't think. Right, yeah. It's just it's different just different. Stuff. Yeah. No, that's a good point. I'm still just as excited. Oh, for sure. I'm I'm very excited. And I'm excited to support uh, the Dota 2 community and support the, you know, the pro gaming community and get that prize pool up. Well, for sure. I'm in. Let's do it. So there's that. 25 uh, million. I think it... Are we ready to move on to Hero of the Week, Jared? I think we need to. All right. It's almost 50 minutes in already, Brian. Ah, frick. 
We got we got an ad loading on my soundboard. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here of the week. You're tougher than I thought. Come along. Feeding time. Have a cookie. Meepo. More meepo. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Uh, here of the week is Legion Commander. Serendipitously. Yes. Which Legion Commander is uh, prominently featured on the uh, International TI, uh, International 2016 HUD. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like right between the mini-map and the portrait icon. She's there. She's there. Like carved in stone. Okay. That's weird. It's, it's weird to me. Like why would they just weird. pick one hero to put on the HUD? I don't yeah. get it. That is a little I weird. I don't know. I, I really like the one from last year, by the way. The HUD? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's great. It's very well done. That was my HUD. It's a little subtle. The whole year. Yeah, so, it's not it's not like a super over overdone one, which I like. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Okay, anywho, uh, Jared, we should probably talk about Legion Commander. Yeah, let's 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 discuss her quickly. Let me click this link on my show notes to open the page on Perfect. Dota Two Wiki. Uh, uh, my understanding in Dota One, Legion Commander was a dude with a huge mustache. With a huge mustache. Yeah, interesting. Now, uh, Legion Commander is a very hippie individual. Have you noticed that about the model? Her model is like really pear shaped. No, I haven't really noticed that it's much at all. Got a lot of hips going on. Are you into that sort of thing or something? Like, is that something you would notice? Maybe. Okay. Anywho, uh, Legion Commander is a uh, melee strength hero. Correct. Um, typically played everywhere. Yeah, really, you can do anything with her. You can put her safe lane you can put her mm-hmm. off lane you can put her you can put her mid. mid you can put her in the jungle yeah really i mean she's super flexible super flexible um never played in the support position unless you're bad at the game um jared you could go in a greedy four in the jungle okay i'll give you that that kind of happened today with uh fdl versus uh mm-hmm. freaking what's her faces yeah and, th- and then you just uh monkey team or whatever <laughs> Right. Freedom Fighters with freaking IX Mike. Yeah. But uh, then you could just rush her Q. Her Q is one of the best purges in the game. Oh, yeah. So we'll, we'll get... Or not QW. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we'll get into it. But she's she's a core role. Core position. I think so, yeah. Yeah. She does really well with farm. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so let's get into her abilities here. Yeah, let, let's just breeze through. Um, overwhelming odds is her Q. Yeah. Uh, turns the enemy's numbers against them, dealing Ooh. damage and granting you bonus movement speed per unit or per hero. Mm-hmm. Deals mm-hmm. bonus damage to illusions and summoned units as a percent of their current health. Uh, radius is 330. Base damage is 40. Uh, goes all the way up to 160. Deals 14 uh, damage per creep at level 1. Scales up to 20. Uh, it's 20 at level 1, 65 at level 4. Uh, and then does damage to summons and all that stuff. Long and the short is if there's a lot of units in the area, it does more damage. It does damage and you get a move speed bonus. Yeah. Yeah. It's the one that like shoots down all those arrows, right? Yeah. Yeah. Overwhelming odds. Right. It's, yeah. It's really annoying. Uh, it's on a 15 second cooldown. It has a 100 mana cost. Mm-hmm. Um, is that the purge? No. No. That's the next one. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, press the attack. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. Removes debuffs and disables from the target friendly unit. Grants bonus attack speed and health regen for a short time. Mm-hmm. Uh, cast range is 800 on this. The health regen bonus at level 1 is 30. Mm-hmm. Scales up to 60. Yeah. Uh, attack speed bonus at level 1 is 60 and goes up to 120. Duration is 5 seconds. Uh, the cooldown goes down with levels. So right. 16 at level 1, 13 at level 4. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, 30 health regen and 60 attack speed at level 1. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Seems really good. It's really good. That's it's, basically a hyperstone. Yeah. it's What I love about this ability is it has a lot of utility. Because, I mean, you can use it when you're, you know, on yourself when you're attacking a tower or something like that or jungling or whatever it might be. Right. Um, You, you can use it just for the purge mechanic. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, so Batrider Lasso comes into mind. Uh, that's great. Or Fiend's Grip or anything with Bane. I mean. Yeah, it's telling me, uh, Dota 2 Wiki is telling me it's a strong dispel. So, yes. Which is a different classification from, like, Abaddon's dispel, correct? I think Abaddon's strong as well. Okay. 
there's there's like strong dispels and then there's like normal dispels. Right. Yeah. Certain things. That... So strong dispel can go through like flaming lasso and Bane's fiend's grip and stuff. Yes. Holy crap. Yeah. That's really good. It's really good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Underutilized, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't know about it. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Frick. Well, I, I've really never... I played Legion Commander, like, once. Yeah. Not my not my kind of hero at all. She's totally up my alley. Oh, yeah. I think it's the hips. It's probably the hips, yeah. <laughs> uh, Moment of Courage is E. This is a passive ability. Yep. When attacked, Legion Commander has a chance to immediately counterattack with bonus lifesteal. So it's kind of like counter helix in some ways. In some ways, but then you, instead of doing like extra damage, you're just doing normal damage, you're but doing then an life ex- steal. You're doing an extra like right click though, right? Yes. Yeah. So proc chance is 25% at all levels. Life steal at level one is 55. Scales up to 85% at level four. Yeah. Uh, cooldown also scales. It's 2.6 seconds at level one and 0.8 at level four. <coughs> God it's, bless you. This. Okay, so. We were talking that she can jungle a little bit. Yeah. Like, one thing that I, I really, really like about Legion Commander is, is her flexibility that we talked about a little bit here. Yeah, right. Like, obviously, if you're laning, you know, you might want to take her Q um, and level that up a bit more. But if you're in the jungle, which you totally can do, now, with especially once Iron Talon came into the game, that item allows yeah. you, it allows nearly anyone to jungle. Oh, yeah. But, or, I mean, what we've seen a lot, too, is you put somebody in the off lane. Yeah. And they'll go and hit that hu- jungle that little camp. And yeah, exactly. All of a sudden, you're, you're having a bad lane. and you're Now you're doing okay needed. again. Yeah. But, yeah, she can literally start in the jungle. And, I mean, she can jungle pretty fast. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty legit. Yeah, she's one of the few legitimate junglers in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree. Yeah, because you you get two levels of that, you get two levels of her of her uh, W. Yeah, you know the press the attack, and really you're fine. Yeah. So level four, you can jungle through, get a poor man's shield, and your or iron talon, you can go through anything. You AFK jungle for ten minutes, and you're you're golden. So you get hold on, you get what two levels of press the attack and two levels of moment of courage. Yep. Oh right, because you get the health regen and you get the health yeah. regen and the life steal. Yep. Okay. It's 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 legitimate. It really is. That's nice. Yeah, that's real nice. Uh, okay. So, kind of her trademark ability, her ultimate is dual. This dual. Is what everyone knows her for, and what yeah. is fight me annoying and great all at the same time. Right. A legion commander and the target enemy hero are forced to attack each other for a short duration. Mm-hmm. Neither hero can use items nor abilities. But it, her passives will work, just saying. There is that. Uh, if either hero dies during the duration, the hero winning the duel gains permanent bonus damage. Cast range on this is 150. Mm-hmm. Melee range. Yeah, melee range, basically. Uh, winner attack bonus damage is 10 at level 1, 14 at level 2, 18 at level 3. Mm-hmm. Dual duration is 4 at level 1, 4.75 seconds at level 2, okay. and 5.5 seconds. With Ag Scepter, uh, the duel lasts longer. It's 6, 7, 8. Okay. And makes Legion Commander and her opponent only take damage from each other. Yeah, so basically you're... So that could help and hurt you. Right, yeah, because one thing that you can do with Legion Commander is like pair her with a support like Skywrath Mage that has a nuke or Lion. Well, I would say that's one of the things that makes Duel so great is right. You can re- like you can really help out a Legion Commander by helping her get kills and winning duels. Yeah, but think about it late late game. Okay, I'm thinking you're making sure that you're not getting dispelled. That's or true. Everything, yeah, because so. late game. Theoretically, you're, you're, you're ahead. Yeah, and you've built up a good amount of damage, and we'll talk about her items a little bit, but yeah. you've built up a l- good amount of damage. So you're maybe right-clicking for four or five hundred, right. which can happen pretty easily. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, it's it's legit. This is on a 50-second cooldown. It has a 75 mana cost. Yeah. Great. Uh, okay, so with that said, yeah. um, general strategy for her, Jared, you've been playing her a little bit more. What's the general... 
Give well, us kind of the the you, long and the short of it here. You're definitely going to want to play in some sort of a ganking style. So um, initiation items are, are key for her. So your blink dagger. Blink dagger. Yeah. I like blink a lot. Um, you could get, you can go shadow blade as well. I think that's okay. Yeah. 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 Especially now. Like I think the um, build up into silver edge really helps her a lot. I think it helps her a lot too. I love that change to silver edge. It makes so much more sense, but I mean, it made sense for her before because she was a strength hero. It makes sense for more heroes. I would agree. The new ultimate orb does not. What I like to do. It's great. Um, is the new Echo Saber. Oh, yeah. The double attack guy. Oh, yeah. I, I like this a lot on her. Echo Saber's great. I like this a lot on her because you get your two attacks off right away during a duel. So you're, in, in effect, you're upping your DPS during duel. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the early things, early game, that she kind of struggles with is being able to have enough damage to, to really win duels. Win duels. She needs help, really. Yeah. Because you and I have played Legion Commander together, and we would just do like a roaming duo, right? Where up. you would duel, and then I would just help you, yeah, you know, burst somebody down, exactly, to get dual damage for you. Yeah, and, and that's another thing that we that I was kind of hinting at before. What I like to do with Legion Commander is build attack speed, because inherently with the way the hero works, you're gonna get damage if you're playing her right. Yeah, right. Because if you're dueling, yeah. Somebody's going to be attacking you. Exactly. So you don't really need to. You don't need to build things like an MKB or damage items. Like it, you know, Daedalus kind of makes sense just because of the crit chance and all that. But I really prefer going just straight attack speed on her. Okay. So like an AC moon shard, you're a bit more. You know, it'll help your sustain. But then it's also going to up your DPS and guarantee it helps, DPS. It helps you snowball if you're Absolutely. getting those duels off. Yeah. Absolutely. So ideal build for me, what I've done in the past is uh, early on, I, I like to jump clutter. I really do. Yeah. I make sure I have an iron talon early well, and I and get if, up a poor man's shield as soon as possible. Let's give some caveats here real quick. If yeah. you're going to jungle Legion Commander, make sure that... Your team's aware of it. Your team's aware of it and is yeah. comfortable with that. Yeah, that's and true. And that you have... Enough damage elsewhere. In lanes that are that have enough sustain and are able to support yeah. a jungler. Yeah, that's a very good point. With that said. Yeah, I like the jungler. Yes. <laughs> so that's that's just what I like to do. Um you know and you know, getting farming patterns down and all that stuff in the jungle, that's just practice. That yeah, right. you, you get you get eventually. Right. Um But it's 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 legitimate where you can get, you know, your treads and an echo saber down in 10 11 minutes yeah yeah and then your first duel you're pretty much you're good yeah but yeah uh let's talk a little bit about um so items that's that's what i like to go on there is attack speed more than yeah. like attack damage well i think you definitely want to be getting a blink dagger as we said so yeah because you, you know part it really of the helps duel, with yeah part of the duel is it's, it is a nice disable yes so you can and picking a dual target, that's all. I feel like we could do a whole separate episode on that. Right. But, you know, you want to pick a dual target who, in my eyes, would be easy to pick off. Right. Or someone who needs to be silenced. Yeah. So, so yeah, you're doing one of two things. You're, A, going after somebody that's pretty close to dying and maybe is trying to run. Yeah. You know, you blink up, you catch them, you duel them, you kill them. Right. Bonus damage. Great. The other thing that you can do like you said, is try to disable somebody in a team fight to make sure that your team gets an advantage and then eventually you'll be able to win. Right. So even if you don't win the dual damage... Yeah, you, you can totally least, turn a team fight just based on the fact that you're you, taking somebody out of the fight for... For five seconds. Yeah, right. I mean, that's huge. That's really nice, yeah. That's an entire team fight most times. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Blink Dagger, you said attack yeah. speed items. Mm-hmm. Um, I know Blade Mail is popular. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I think you go one of two ways. You either go Echo Saber or Blade Mail. Yeah, I don't think you go both. Yeah, I don't. I don't really. I I feel uneducated to to say that, but sure, we'll go with that. Well, one of the reasons you go Blade Mail is because she does have a little bit of mana problems. Yeah, and right. Blade Mail kind of helps with that. It does. Yeah, that's true. Um, armlet. She's got. Armlet. Still, armlet would probably be pretty good. Help you kind of snowball and get those mm-hmm. early duels off, I'd think. Yeah. A uh, blink dagger, I would but think yeah, you want to get up ASAP. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, an armlet, yeah, I think it's a great item. 
but where do you buy it in her progression? Because an armlet third item isn't that great. That's kind of tough because those are all kind of like early mid game items. Yeah. So yeah. really, you're you're wanting to choose maybe one or two of those like early mid game items, and then right, you know, you go for your AC, you go for your Shivas or whatever you want to do. Yeah. From there. Um. I mean, I think beyond that, beyond like Blink Dagger and maybe B. I mean, BKB. BKB might, is really good, depending on the game, obviously. But yeah. yeah. I would agree. But beyond that, it's pretty open. You know, like, you could yeah. go Skull Basher. You could sure. go Abyssal Blade. Sure. Especially with the new build-up for Abyssal Blade. Like, yeah, Vanguard makes sense on her. Nice on her. Yeah. Um, Desolator. Assault Curus. Sure, sure. Mjolnir. Yeah. Uh, At the end, attack speed. What else can you get? All sorts of crap. Yeah, really. I mean, you, you want... Really, you want a sustain item? Heart of Tarask? Sure. Yeah. I mean, she's a, she's a strength hero. Shiva's? Sure, absolutely. I, I think you want to go a sustain item, an initiation item, and then just go from there. Yeah. So, I mean, whatever your sustain item be, whether you know the Echo Saber, like I was suggesting, or a armlet or blade mail, yeah. whatever that option is, and then go into your initiation tool, you know, your Blink Dagger, your Shadow Blade, Force Staff. Something, something that I've learned as I've been playing carry, like safe playing mm-hmm. carry, is that... Um, and this sounds crazy that I'm even saying this. I need to let my initiators initiate. Totally. Like, no, I agree with that. I need to wait for them to go in, and then I go in and kind of yeah, clean mop up, up, mop up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's in the past I haven't been very good at that. It, it's it, again, it's one of those things that I think is the most frustrating thing about Dota. Yeah, is all of this sounds super easy. And makes so much sense. Yeah. But in the heat of the moment, you never let it happen. It's insanely hard to pull off. Yeah. Yeah. No, I true. just had a, a match today where I was playing Luna and mm. uh, Josh was Luna. playing. Who was Josh playing? Josh know. was playing somebody. Oh, Alchemist. Okay. Yeah. And so Good for him. you can kind of initiate with him yeah. or uh, we had another dude that was way more of an initiator than Alchemist was. Uh, Chaos Knight with the reality riff. Oh, sure. Yeah. So they can kind of both initiate. Yeah. And there was, like, I, like, dove mid behind a tier one because I saw a good opportunity for an ultimate, mm-hmm. an eclipse. Yeah. And I just got wrecked because I yeah. dove, like, 1v3 or something crazy like that because yeah. I was like, oh, no, this is the perfect time to go in. And I've then got I was this. Like, so they're like, oh, fog, I hate you. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wait, I shouldn't have done that. I need to let my initiators do their thing. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. Exactly. So, Legion Commander, great initiator. She's, yeah. She's fantastic initiator. Good hero, in my Good opinion. Good hero. I, I like I like her a lot. Um, so let's talk counters. Uh, Lincoln Sphere. Yeah, that's a big one. Does duel, duel goes through BKB though, doesn't it? Does it? I get, I honestly do not know. Uh, let's find out. Uh, Dota Two Wiki will tell us. I don't think it does. It does not. Or it, it, no, I'm sorry. It does. If you have Lincoln Sphere, it pops Lincoln Sphere, but you right. can go through BKB with it. Interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I did not uh, know that. Let's see here. What else? Um, Dota 2 Wiki is saying in lane, Omni Knight, Vengeful Spirit, and Winter Wyvern. Yeah. So okay. she probably, I mean, she doesn't, she's really weak until level six. I think she's fairly weak until level at least four. Yeah. Yeah. And if you can, especially if you can pressure her, you know, yeah. because she's kind of balanced around having dual damage. Yeah. If you're not exactly. getting dual damage, you're basically just becoming an initiator with a nice disable. Right, yeah. With a solid disable and a decent purge. Yeah. Uh so, in yeah. team fights, uh Dazzle. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty big counter. Dazzle, Bane. Yeah. Yeah. No. So wait, if you okay, if you put nightmare on whoever's getting dueled, I, I think it goes back and bat- forth. <laughs> I think it goes back and forth, yeah. That's perfect. That's great. Yeah. That's really funny. Uh, let's see. Who else? Those things. You know, anybody that has a disable. I mean, honestly. Yeah. Or heals. Yeah. You know, if you can heal somebody or <laughs> just burst down the Legion Commander when they're in a duel. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. So, Legion Commander, good hero. I like her, yeah. Uh, Jared. Okay, so, we like Legion Commander, but you know what I like even more? Is it our friend from the show, Cheeks A. Flappin? Oh, more than that. Senior executive producer, Cheeks A. Flappin. Oh. 
Let's bring him back for chatting with cheeks. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the dense and impenetrable web of systemic bullshit we collectively refer to as Duta. Hey, cheeks. <laughs> Hello, cheeks. How's it going? Hey, cheeks. I'm spinning the wheel. Come on. 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 Something good. Something good. Any did 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 do? Eh. Is this all right, that's all right. Crystal Maiden set fantastic aspect wheel. Aspect of the year being. Yes, exactly. It's been a lot of treasures. It's pretty much <laughs> yeah. what I've been getting on the wheel. Well, here. those are good treasures. A variety. I got a sculptor's pillar, which is so that's bull uh, crap. Nobody. Oh no, sculptor's pillar. Year. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. last year. Yeah. Or two years yeah, ago. Yeah, so that's a good one. Actually. And, uh, yeah, it's all good. I've got one more Crystal Maiden spin. Should I do it? No. <laughs> no? We're on a limited Should time frame here. Yeah, do it. Do yeah, it. what the hell? Okay, here we go. One more time. And one more time around. Do you think I should pull it halfway, or should I pull it all the way? Quarter way. Quarter way. All right, so one here quarter. We go. Here we go. It's not very, not very big spin there, Brian. You don't want a big spin. If this pays off. You want to bop I'll it. Kiss you right between the, your cheeks. Right, right between right between the internet. All right. <laughs> right between the internet. Here we go. We're we're ticking around. We're tick 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 tick. tick, tick. And an OD set for all the OD I play. Perfect. Harbinger of the inauspicious abyss. Just in time for a super <laughs> hard nerf. Perfect. Exactly. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that was thrilling. All right. I'm I'm very well, thrilled. Let's talk, uh, in the chat room here, we've been talking a little bit about. There's been some discussion, I should say. Oh. Uh, let's see. There's some discussion about the MMR recalibration thing, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we're, we we kind of think it's a lost cause. Uh, <laughs> we say it's too stressful. We say life is better when you're not worried about numbers. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. With I that. think that since. A majority of people are going to be doing this. You're not really going to be like, oh yeah, this is my time to shine. I'm going back into solo, it's not going to happen. It's just, it's just not going to happen because everyone's going to be doing it at the same time. So all the same people you'd get stuck with in your, say, zero to two k range and just below two k. Actually, let's say zero to one point nine k range. They're they're all going to be there with you. So it's going right. to be the same experience, and you're going to end up with the same MMR. Yeah, it's probably pretty true. That's my plausible. prediction. Everyone's going to calibrate at the yeah. same, MMR, same MMR, plus or minus 100 points. Probably true. Exactly. So I just don't think there's any getting away from that. You know, I'd say just, we can't all be Josh Dreams Roberts. Yeah, that that dude Yeah, used to be really bad. With that new computer, he's going to be the next seat in Evil Geniuses. Mark my words. Yeah, they tell wait, you. wait, wait. What if what if he's so used to playing on his old computer, though, that his MMR actually takes a dive? No, no, no. He's like Goku training on the moon. Precision? It's Goku training on the moon. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, are you guys ready for some questions? Um, I think we are, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think I am. Well, boy, guys, so I got some questions for you. Hit it! Holy shit! If you want peace, you must prepare for war. If you want war, you must also prepare for war. The lesson is, always prepare for war! Welcome to Noobs Ask Noobs. Thank a, you. Uh, a question segment here on the We Like Dota podcast. Uh, people write in and ask us questions about Dota or sometimes life things. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, oldie but goodie question. Posted six days ago by a friend of the show. This is Dan2000. Hey, guys. I'm a new listener, and I already love the show. I challenge you to create a new hero. <laughs> I personally am always excited to see a new hero <laughs> to play on Dota. I was a little bummed that Arc Warden wasn't my play style. Yeah. So I ask, what would you like to see in a new hero? Keep up the moderately famous online celebrity work. <laughs> Brian, who's your new hero? <laughs> um, well, I have two answers. Okay. One... Uh, based on having been on the show last week, we don't need any more heroes. <laughs> but assuming we did get a new one, and I got to I got to choose, uh, yeah. I want somebody that can like affect terrain, like raise and lower terrain. Yeah, wouldn't that be crazy? That would be pretty nice. You know, it's like Earthshaker, but like, what if you Earth could mover? just like, that would be pretty cool. What if you could just like could make high ground? Yeah, you could like cliff dudes for like you know like two or three seconds. Yeah, that would be pretty. You cool. know, that would be like, pretty neat. 
or put him in a pit for a couple you seconds. You could also get a Yule's. A Yule's. Right, a Yule's. but you can attack him on a, on top of a pit. <laughs> oh, right. that's or true. on top that's of true. a thing. Or you could like, you know, do something crazy with like wards or something, or you know, give somebody vision, or I don't know. You could do something really crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I think something I think really crazy. I think that would be fun. That'd with be fun. with ag scepters. Ag scepter for this hero. Uh-huh. You place uh-huh. wards and it instantly goes high ground. It creates a new like cliff. Yeah. That gives mm-hmm. high ground vision. Okay. What about a new hero that would take advantage of this scan feature? I yeah. Saw? Okay. It's new to the patch. Maybe one that has like additional scan. Rainer. Scan you put things. you put Rainer in the game from Starcraft. <laughs> exactly. Or the. I think we just need yes. to make this more like Starcraft. Or the uh, the lady from Starcraft that's like in charge of like, the computer lady from the command center in Starcraft. You know, like. Uh, you must. You must. Yeah. Cort- Cortana. You, no, it's not Cortana, Jared. <laughs> that's Halo. Uh, <laughs> Close. What is she? What do you? Uh, additional supply depots required. You get to play as her. You need the more pylons or you whatever. Scan crap. I don't no. think Blizzard would be too cool with that though. That's that's a very good point. <laughs> yeah. So you could scan more. <laughs> Scanning McScannerson. Yeah. I was just hoping. I was just hoping that you'd say Goblin Gangster again. Oh, Goblin Gangster! I forgot all <laughs> about you, him. When you talked about oh man, when you talked about raising and lowering terrain. I was like, yeah. like the hydraulics on <laughs> Goblin, Goblin Gangster. Gangster. I Low forgot. Rider. I forgot all about Goblin Gangster. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, <laughs> uh, This is why you're still around. We appreciate you. His, yeah. his mount I mean, is a I'm car. The, his mount is a car. Man. Yeah. <laughs> think of Looks all like the hat possibilities. I can't. I can't stop thinking of like Wario's car, like that big purple thing. Yeah, think of the immortals. You could. His W is like you know. He puts his foot on the gas, and with the immortal, you know, flames, flames shoot out the S. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's perfect. Yeah, Goblin Gangster. Oh yeah, coming in oh six point eight nine. What about you, Jerry? I can't. I can't top that. Okay. I can't right. top that. Jared is passing. <laughs> oh God. Let's see. I yeah. I don't know. Okay. I just want to see Roshan. I want to see like Roshan's half brother Ned. <laughs> <laughs> Ned. Like, hey, I'm here. It sounds like a movie starring be... John Candy from the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> he can be. Uh, he can, he won't die. He just sort of like. He just can't attack after he gets killed for like a cooldown, so he can just like walk around. Okay. Walk and around he and sort of, he could be sort of a moving ward. Yeah. Oh, there you but go. But he's he's very ineffective otherwise. Can just walk around and criticize other players <laughs> with yeah. two hundred vision. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. That makes perfect sense. Ned Sean. <laughs> Ned Sean. <laughs> Expect him for as a big reveal. For the TI6 compendium. Uh, TI6 exactly. All-Star game. Ned Sean. <laughs> Ned Sean. <laughs> Ned Sean. All right. Well, uh, I, I just I was just going to do that question because the show's run a little long. So. Well, fantastic. Well, all right. Uh, there you have it. Uh, yeah. I, there was a story that I wanted to tell, but I can't remember. I'm not surprised by that. Uh I'll tell, I'll remember it and we'll tell it next week. Uh, okay, uh, cheeks. Where can we find you online? You can find me online at cheeks of flapping on Twitter, on Xbox Live, cheeks of flapping on Steam, cheeks of flapping on PS4, cheeks, and on Battle.net, cheeks. Wonderful. C C H H P E E E K K S S. Hey, uh, can you do me a favor and reply to the question on our on our thread on Reddit, so I can sure. give. Uh, I can remember what my Reddit login information is. You need to get on LastPass, man. It's great. Fills in everything for you. They're gonna steal all my identity. Oh, it's already stolen. Don't worry. Uh, Jared, where can oh. we find you online? Uh, right here every week, Brian. Yes, Most weeks. Every week. <laughs> Uh, you can follow Every me uh, on. You can follow my Dota two Twitter account uh, yeah. at Sabone Dota S A H B O N E D O T A. Twitter got it. Yeah. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well oh. at B Yinger B Y I N G E R. Absolutely. What if I don't want to follow you on Instagram? You must. Where else can I? It's a rule. Uh, you can follow the show. We like Dota. Oh. 
on uh, Twitch, oh, yeah, Reddit, yeah. YouTube. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about yeah. it. Um, some more videos are going up on YouTube from when we stream. Yeah, we're trying to do that more often. Trying to do that a little bit here and there. So uh, those list, those three listener matches that I played Saturday <laughs> night. Look for a for a dude who's twenty nine years old and about to have a child. Three matches on a Saturday night. No, no, that's that's good stuff, man. Not bad. That's absolutely great. not bad. That's absolutely great. Uh, so those are up there, and you can go and laugh at us and have a grand old time. Sure. Uh, but sure. we also have a Patreon account if yeah. you want to, uh, you know, maybe leave us a uh, a monthly tip yeah, or encourage us and support what we're doing. Uh, we, you know, we we keep that thing keeps growing. Yeah. It's gonna help us do yeah, a little I got uh, best community in the world. Oh, what's that, cheeks? I got a tip for you. Okay, okay. let's hear it. Keep doing the show. Oh, hey. oh. okay. Uh... That's a video game. I told you, no video games. It's a good tip. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but our Patreon funds—they uh, are paying for cheek. We're paying for cheeks to go to TI. We're paying for his tickets, so we're gonna yeah. get some good. We're getting quality on the ground content. coverage. On the ground coverage. We'll hopefully if, get some quality coverage. Yeah, yep. and possibly some for the return of TI After Dark. Oh, I can't wait. That's right. A special guest, special guest host for TI, for our TI After Darks, will be front of the show, Diddy Mitch. Yeah, Diddy oh, Mitchell. Yeah. Tickets yeah. And is making it happen. We're going to get an Airbnb together. I'm thinking something romantic with a queen size. We'll sleep uh, head to toe. So you can't interlock. Make sure you get and, one that has yeah. a heart-shaped hot tub. Yeah. Yeah. That would look great. That'll be for the We Like Dota calendar for all the patrons when we reach the $1,000 a month. The Patreon, you know, we got Special good stuff going on there. We Like Dota there. pinup edition. You know, we, we put most of it back into the show, and mm. uh, it's just great to see. Yeah. See how much it's grown. So thanks a lot, guys. Seriously. Yeah, it's, it's really, really appreciated. Uh, you can do that at patreon.com slash we like Dota. Uh I think that's it, right? I think that's everything. Uh we do that's uh, a show, Brian. Check us out on Reddit, we like Dota dot Um lots of info about the show and other happenings there. Uh we're trying to figure out a new thing for community night. Yeah. We've, we've kind of discovered that it hasn't been super fun for everyone because there's a wide range of MMRs. Right, and, you know, there's mixed expectations of like, is it a try hard night? You know, do and you know, and some people go in there trying to coach others when some people just want to have fun and go in and just cast lion alts or you know whatever. Yeah, yeah, and that's fine. So we're trying to create separate events for you know people who just want to yolo and people who just you know who are looking to you know be coached or get better at the game. So right, more on that exactly. to come. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's one of those things where one thing that I really appreciate about our community is that it's, it's evolving. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. just speak up, you know, if you want to be heard and uh, see what we can make happen. Yeah. I mean, we'll make it. We'll, we'll see what we can really do. Really what it comes down to. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next week and uh, spend as many dollars as you can on those battle passes. <laughs> we'll see you next week. You don't yeah. have to worry about it. <laughs>